So welcome to RSL Week Eight. Uh, it's me, Ticklebox, and Dope, and hello. Introduce yourself. Oh, I think they know my voice. And you, you introduced me, Tickle. Oh, I did, kind of. Yeah. But uh, if that's not enough for you, as it uh, isn't for Ticklebox, yes, this is Zero Pingretsky. And we are about to start Toronto versus Boston a little bit late, as we were hoping Toronto could get a couple more players. Uh, unfortunately, with these first games of the night, there's usually a guy who joins in late or not at all, so it's going to be a 2v1 for at least the first little bit. Which is too bad, because this is actually a pretty big game as far as the standings go. We got Toronto with three wins, four losses, and Boston with four wins, three losses. And for Boston, this is a chance to get tied up with the first and actually just the second place team, New York. And assuming, or rather hoping, if you're on Boston, that New York loses, that it would be a true tie. Oh, Although tie. New York has a game in hand. Meanwhile, Toronto, they are in the massive... Uh, three-way fourth place tie man that's a tongue twister <laughs> and that would get them into the playoffs I believe if they won tonight and Chicago and Washington did not so a bit of a shame for Toronto this might really burn them later when it comes to playoff time actually yeah, all the teams make playoffs <laughs> it's kind of oh, no shit. yeah for ourselves all everyone makes playoffs but uh, uh from I've been trying standings. to do my homework from their standings, that's where they get placed. Like first and eighth, second and seventh, kind of thing. Yeah, seeds are still very important. So here we go. Oh, who was that? Oh. Bit of a mistake there. But anyways, Molting Duck, holding the fort down for Toronto all by himself. And Mr. TV, wow. AFK there, Molting Duck. He strikes first blood. Yep. He's gonna need to keep striking here. And on Boston, we got Super Hawk Blue and Mr. TB123. And they're fighting for it now. It's gonna spring loose to Mr. TB. If they position themselves well, they're gonna grab pretty much every loose puck. And ooh, if they make some passes, it's gonna be a nigh impossible job for Molting Duck. Super Hawk Blue just missed Mr. TB there. TB now. Ooh, saucy backhand. Rotates it to the boards to Super Hot. Oh, Super Hot Glue! Just missed Mr. TB, who stopped up short on that pass. Mr. TB's gonna pull out of his own end. Molting Duck trying to put as much pressure on as he can. Oh, he had a chance there to come away with it, but, uh. Oh, hang on, he still has a chance! Oh, sleeping on D was Super Hot Glue, Molting Duck! Takes it to two nothing. We this uh, to, this is incredible, tickle. We have to make a point that uh, Duck has been here a bit longer than um, Mr. TV and Super Hot Glue. But uh, anyways, a, a two v one is still a two v one. That is one of the reasons why two v one is hard. Yes, there will be no goalie for Toronto, so expect lots of glides, which uh, suits Super Hot Glue just fine. And Mr. TB, who scored his first there. Ooh, good check by Molting Duck there. Mr. TB. Bins around, maybe trying a shot there. That's going to bounce perfectly. Oh, it is super hot. Oh, man, he swung too soon. And that goes wide. Fighting for it now. TB, Molting Duck. B pulls it back a little. Can't keep his stick on it. Neither can Molting Duck. But he's got the faster skates. Tries the long bomb, but that's well wide. Raw glue now. Ooh, man, they gotta be careful. Molting Duck is reading their pass lanes, and they are passing completely, uh... How do you say? Vertically. A better word for vertically. Straight up the ice. And uh, that's dangerous. As uh, Boston does not have a goalie either. Mr. TB now. He's gonna pick this up. And Molding Duck held up by Super Hot Glue there. That was nice. Your TB. Oh, great play. Passes to Super Hot Glue, who uh, buries it in the corner. It's always great to see um, 
uh, new players come up um, will make plays just how um, real LHL players would. Absolutely, and uh, now is the time to do it since they have more space than they will ever have in their lives. Mr. TV now controlling off the boards. Oh, it looked like it was a pass. Ends up being a pass. Zubaglu's second goal shoots it through the back of the net. Wow, what power. Face off one by Molting Duck. Oh, Molting Duck off the face. I mean, the posts. That was close. If he can keep those kind of cheesy forwards going face-offs, then he may have a chance to strike back after every goal, which he's going to need to. He's currently only down by one, with a minute and a half to go in the first. Uh, Mr. TB, good read. Pulls right through. Here comes an easy goal. An easy indeed. Second goal for Mr. TB. That's, uh, we're going to see a lot of those this game. Yes, and uh, aren't they so pretty, Tickle? Um, sometimes. <laughs> it's always in the, pa the penitent, uh, whatever, I'm not going to use big words, <laughs> the traditional uh, <laughs> um, disrespect where you look back. Yeah, I hope we don't see any of that. I'm not a big fan of that move. Oh, no, and we have a random who has just ruined the play there. <laughs> Glendening, please. And Molting Duck is going to recover this. Molting Duck whiffs on the shot. Super Hot Glue was tracking nicely, but he can't really get that into a scoring position. Mr. TB, though, tons of room out front. Super Hot Glue can't find him, though. Great pressure by Molting Duck. Super Hot Glue now, finally a second. Can't find Mr. TB, who's going to try to turn around on this. Oh, more great pressure from Molting Duck. He's got a spot to shoot here. No, not quite. The pressure from Super Hot Glue forces that well wide. Mr. TB now. Super Hot Glue taking a defensive position by the goal there, but uh, it does work out. Mr. TB beats Molting Duck, and of course, that's the only guy he has to beat. Uh, can you say glide, Tickle? Glide. Yes, indeed. And Mr. TB gets a glide full hat trick. I think I can spell it. Go for it. I believe um, it starts with a G. Yeah. And, um, L -I Wait, can I get a definition first? Glide. When you have no skill to shoot and you push the puck into the net. Can I get a sentence? Um, Goose was the world's best glider in the early days of hockey. Can I get a word of uh, origin? Country of origin? Um... United States of America. Uh, G L I D E. Glide. You are right, and you are the RSL spelling champion, as our only contestant yes. was it ever really in doubt, but that was an incredible tickle. And you know, I had to use all my resources, but um, it worked out in the end, you know. <laughs> yes, I can't believe you had to use Phone a Friend for that, but oh well. <laughs> Anyways, 5 2. Boston, no surprise, it's a 2v1, our first game of the night. This often happens on the first game of the night. And you can bet we'll have better turn up. And woo, turning it up is super hot glue. Hat trick for him. And yes, they are both 3-3 three and three apiece on Boston, which is quite nice on the stat sheet. And Molting Duck trying to do what he can. That didn't sound right. Trying to... No, that's right. Trying to do what he can, yeah. Felt like I needed an S in there. But anyways, he's trying to do what he can. No, that still sounds wrong. Am I crazy, Tickle? Um, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Sometimes. Um, you like to pass it to the goalie without like. telling him in games. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault. All goalies are on Reddit when the puck crosses the blue line. I mean, really. Yeah. Saves a save, I don't know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, right, you should count those if I if I pass to the net and you aren't ready. That's definitely a save. Molting duck here. Quick chance. Ooh, just wide. He needs to get some more. He started this game quite strongly. I think it was two zero at some point in the first, but uh playing the long game with the man down is never gonna be in your favor. 
But can he take it here? Superhawk Glue sends it wide to Mr. TB. Molting Duck right behind him. Almost picked his pocket. Superhawk Glue there. Oh, not able to come away with it either. Molting Duck dumps it down to Mr. TB. Oh, Mr. TB's boards pass. Easily picked off by Molting Duck. Oh, Molting Bo Duck with the nice move and the nice goal. His turn for the hat trick. It is three to six. He's playing pretty well despite the 2v1. And indeed, it is possible that he could win this. Especially oh, if a oh. teammate shows up. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Mr. TB now. He brought glue in front of him. Lops a nice pass. Great weight on that. It'd be real easy for Super Hot Glue to turn this in. And he does. Goal number four for Super Hot Glue. Assist number four for Mr. TB. A molting duck. Wins the face off. Wins it backwards though. Tries to turn into pressure, that's not gonna work. Super Hot Glue dumps it in, Mr. TV was skating forwards, he's gonna grab it. Can he cut inside and score? Yes he can. Goal number four, Mr. TB, assist number four, Super Hot Glue. The um, camp between this two is really great in this 2v1. <laughs> four and four, and four and four. They're doing, yeah, they're doing pretty good. I was just about to, to ask, are they maybe uh, rotating goals on purpose here? Yeah, this would be Super Hot Glue's turn, and next up should be Mr. TB. Oh no, Super Hot Glue uh, kindly does not glide, but uh, probably should have put that one in. But when you're up eight to three, uh, sometimes it's all right to get a little creative. Ooh, not creative enough there. Molting Duck had that play locked down. And a fast pass from Super Hot Glue streaks in front of the net. Well ahead of TB. TB, nice backhand pass. Super Hot Glue, not quick enough to grab it. Super Hot Glue, oh, it was a cheeky boards pass that just went through the stick of TB there. TB throwing it on net. Super Hot Glue's going to pick it up at the side. And he tried to shoot with his backhand there. I don't think he was out quite far enough. And Mr. TB dumps inside. Yeah, it stuck awkwardly on the side of the net there. Super Hot Glue wasn't able to do anything with it. Except release it for Molting Duck. He's having a bit of trouble here in his own end. Super Hot Glue hits the side of the net again. His worst nemesis in this game. Super Hot Glue's going to have to go all the way back to his zone to pick this up. TB's just going to hang out slightly ahead. Super Hot Glue, big mistake. It's going to trickle in. Fourth goal for Molting Duck. Keeping up that forecheck pressure, and it's working. But he has a lot of ground to cover. It is still 8-4. to four. He still does have the big comeback third period, though. A lot of things yes, happen. indeed. The third is where all the action is. And hoping for Molting Duck that a teammate gets in here. Um, usually Toronto usually has Lidl Lidlton, Molting Duck show up, and Lidlton can't make it tonight, so... I don't think Brundage and uh, or A Street Killer will show up, but you never know. Could happen. I'm hoping it would be uh, more entertaining than the slow bleed we're watching here as Molting Duck gaffs that face off. Super Hot Glue, maybe he wasn't watching the clock there. He ran out of time on a breakaway, but I'm sure he's not sweating that one too hard. And yeah, too bad Middleton can not show up, because he has been a massive source of goals for Toronto. And until just a moment ago, all the players had four goals apiece, which is pretty amazing for Molting Duck, so... Skill on the ice was somewhat even. Anyways, face-off. One into Boston zone. Molting Duck tries a sharp angle shot, and it goes wide. Mr. TB... Trying to get by Molting, he does. Molting took a bit of a face full of boards there. He lost a lot of speed. Mr. TB throws it back for Super Hot. Super Hot tries the one timer and it goes well wide. That's a tough shot. Molting Duck, nice chip deke. He's beat everybody. He just has to stay calm here and wheel it in. No, he was feeling the pressure and he shot as soon as he could and it went wide. Rock Lou. Colliding with Molting Duck. 
They're both still in it. Super Hawkaloo. Oof, tried a long bomb just wide. Super Hawkaloo's gonna pick this up. Molting Duck. Right on him. Big collision. Poked away by Super Hot Glue. Mr. TB's gonna pick it up. And Super Hot's gonna make a little tent in front of the net. Ooh, and that pass that would have found him got got cut out by Molting Duck. Oof. And Molting Duck and Super Whip on that. And Molting Duck's got a chance to wheel it around in his defensive zone. Super Hot Glue. Can't get a stick on it. Mr. TB does. Ooh, but Molting Duck picks off TB's pass. Not enough speed to go forwards here, though, as all of Boston collided on him. And Mr. TB, nice little seam pass to Super Hot Glue there. Oh, and Super Hot Glue being uh, a gentleman and a bad shot. <laughs> User joined your channel. It was planned. Yeah, he didn't want to get double digits, you know. Yeah, absolutely. What a good guy. User left your channel. Mr. TB now. He's gonna try to find Super. Ooh, Molten Duck misses the check. TB could just go in here, passes to Super. And Super tries that one timer again. That's well wide. Molten Duck, he's gotta break through. He can't. Good check by Super Hot Glue. Super Hot Glue couldn't find it in his feet though, and Molten Duck's gonna just blast that out to center. And halfway through the third period, it's looking like Boston have got this in the bag. Ooh, Mr. TB hit the post there, and super shot wide once again. He's being a good Gonna guy. Come. Yeah, this is really a uh, really sweet of of super. Ooh, Mr. TB's boards pass this in the bag. Ooh, yes, super Mr. Hot TB glue. hit the post. Super Hot's gonna pick it up on the boards here. TB's waiting. Oh, TB wasn't in front of the net there, though. That's where that pass went. TB. Trying to wheel and deal. He can't. Molting Duck is all over him. And Molting Duck, a bit of a panic there, throws it ahead of him. He's just trying to race by him every time. And uh, in a 2v1, that's that's not your uh, strategy of best success, we'll say. TB. Perfectly lofted. Back pass off the boards, but Super Hot Glue came in too hot and it bounced right over him. Molting Duck, here's the breakaway he wanted. Better be careful though, the defense is there and yes! Oh. Mr. TB gets the stick on it. Molting Duck can't catch up in time. I really want Molting and... Duck to get that. Yeah, didn't we all? You, you gotta root for the for the guy in the 1v1 who's playing solo. <laughs> and oh, Super Hot rings another off the post. He is done scoring for the night. He is just just trying to say that, yeah, I could have scored there. Ooh, Molting Duck, long bomb. Makes it 9-5. to five. If he comes A minute out, left. If he comes out without having doubled his goals, they, he's played good. <laughs> yeah, indeed. That's my favorite uh, winning, in quotation, uh, condition when I'm getting my ass kicked is at least they didn't double our goals. <laughs> But they just did there. I believe that was TB. Yes, it was. Who has left ahead of his teammate with uh, two goals? So the rotation not quite working out here. Super hot. We'll try to even the score here just to restore the cam. And yes, he didn't miss that time. Although, yeah, if he had been a foot out, the swipe on that shot uh, that would have gone wide. Face off. Duck One will to the still right. get those five points, so at least he gets something out of it. Five yeah, points in this league is a lot. He's got a great stat line considering this game. Only one goal behind a two-player team all by himself, which is really uh, pretty impressive. Mr. TV, impressive boards move. Gets by Molting Duck. He's going to try to loft it over to Super Hot Glue. Mr. TB's passing this game has been just beautiful. You know, when you don't have any you know, massive amounts of forechecking or defensemen around even, you can make those beautiful soft seam passes. So great strategic awareness from TB to make that happen. And that'll do it. 13-5 for Boston in the 2v1. Great effort by Molting Duck, but... uh. 
Super Hot Glue and Mr. TB you making make those no mistakes except for passes. all the mistakes they made, which did not matter. Win for Boston, and that's really good for Boston. That's going to tie him for second place, I believe. But we also have a game by New York tonight, which is going to be our third game after this next one. And, of course, if New York wins or gets that overtime loss, that'll uh, keep them in second place. But for the moment, Boston tied in second place in the standings. And now we have Montreal, or Minnesota. Fuck, man, I did it again. God, gosh darn it. Minnesota and Washington. She's all your stickle. All right. So, um, for uh, Minnesota, we have Tic Tac, Will, and Make Jabba Jabba. And for Washington, we have the greatest Panini, Richard Douglas, and Stu XXX uh, underscore slash backslash uh, Stu Alton. That's a mouthful. It is. It's a mouthful <laughs> on the screen, too, when you're trying to see the map. Yeah, indeed. Thanks a lot, Stu. <laughs> You took the biggest letters and characters. Oh, all right. Now we have uh, Tic Tac coming from it from his own side of the, of the ice. Gets past one, gets past two, but a uh, good tip by uh, Richard Douglas. Let's watch him get the puck and a beautiful shot coming out of Richard Douglas right to the back of the blue net. It's a beautiful shot right there. He's one I've seen uh, a lot of recently. Recently. And again, Richard Douglas getting the. Uh, face off. Now it's Tic Tac. Tic Tac going through everyone. Will might get to it. Nope. Will does not. And it's up to Stu has it. Oh, Stu hits it over the net. Gets on top of the net. Comes out right into Richard Douglas's hands. But uh, Tic Tac is near it. Uh, Richard Douglas gets through. Mick Jabba coming out of his net. Hits it. Oh, but Richard Douglas gets a piece of it and it goes the other way. Tic Tac with him now, having Douglas in front of him. Douglas again playing a big, big part of this game, defensively and offensively, offensively, um, helping Washington out. Yeah, MS is a second place team. Uh, let's make that for sure. Uh, no, I'm third looking place. at a yeah. They're in the three or now. Yep. Yes, now a three-way tie. These guys are fighting for Pardon um no. to stay in third and uh, make the other teams fourth. So. In. Yes, if New York goes pointless, then it will be a three-way tie for second, is the right way to say that. Yeah. Oh, shot by uh, McJabba. Douglas getting it. Douglas passing it up to Stu Walton. Stu Walton whiffing on it, gets the Tic Tac. Tic Tac bringing it around his own net. Well, not around it, near it. He's back going for the Deeks, I guess. Gets through one. Loses control, but he's on a tight, tight angle right now. Takes a shot. Douglas gets it, but he... Oh, well, just Whoopa. tips it in. Douglas got a piece of it, but I uh, just hit off a stick and went in the air. Having um having it stuck in his feet is probably one of the hardest things as a goalie. To not panic and just uh whiff, flail, flail, flail it around. <laughs> flail, flail, I like it. <laughs> I've got I've got hit that into my net on numerous round of times. Oh, another shot by Tic Tac and Will. Beautiful pass play. Passing Those two play. are hot. Oh, but uh, Washington team has some players who hit each other. But <laughs> 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 I was gonna say um, there's some players who've been um, playing for a while now. Especially Stu, season one vet veteran. <laughs> But also, Tic Tac is season one veteran. It's kind of like um, two semi new guys slash new guys versus um, two other semi new guys and semi new guys. Oh, what a hit out of the air by Richard Douglas. I can give him the MVP right now for work he's done first for Washington. Star. Yeah. Locked down in the first period. That is amazing. Oh. Hey, my. That's the second time he's hit the puck and it's gone in the air now. But Panini with it now. Going past one. He only has Tic Tac. Can he get past him? Hits it over his stick. Gets the bar but still 
still be, it drops down for him to hit it in the net. It's a tied 2-2 game. I think it's going to be a close game. Uh, who do you think is going to get the GWG? Dopey. I'm sorry. I was reading the chat. <laughs> I was asking, uh, who do you think is going to take the winning goal in this game? Who's your bets? Hmm. Tic Tac has been on fire, so I'm going to I'm gonna go with my man, Tic Tac. Well, I'm going to go with Douglas. Dick Doug. Ricky. Richie. Richie Dick Dick Doug. Ricky Dick Douglas? He's also He's quite actually good. Canadian. Oh, right on. Well, I am uh, automatically rooting for him. <laughs> Do you take back your vote on Tic Tac now? Oh, <laughs> uh, Tic Tac, so bloody good. I, I'm sticking with Tic. Oh! And Panini yeah. just swinging his stick like baseball. <laughs> and that's why uh, PK, the famous coat, told me, um, don't swing, just swat flies. So, but I've been practicing. Yeah, obviously, yeah. I've been just slacking all the flies in my house. That's that's my <laughs> practice. But Douglas you just coming revealed out. your secret. Oh damn. Oh, Douglas hitting across. Can he get to it again? He will, but it will be at the back of the net. But can he get the pass? Oh, it's intermission. I always forget. Ah, uh, what do you think about this game so far, Adobe? Pretty exciting. Pretty high scoring. And a lot of talent on the ice. I'm pretty excited to see who's going to win this. I have a feeling it could end up being pretty darn close. We may even see an overtime. There's only been one overtime in the history of RSL so far. Which has gone to Montreal versus New York. In the end, we did lose, I believe. I think, no, I think we won that game. Oh, well, something happened with an overtime. But, uh, Only this, one, though. Wow, that's quite the yeah. stat. And uh, also, the first game of this RSL <laughs> was a 20-0 win for Montreal against Boston. Oh, no, it's shot by Well, but going really far out of the net. Douglas has the open lane. Actually, never mind. He has two people in his lane. Uh, tries to get the boards deep, but just hits it at an angle, which makes it go a lot farther. It, uh, Douglas hits off the boards right to McClaba. McClaba takes it. Gets the pass off. Oh, good hit by Will. Will just by himself. Actually, no, there's a goalie. I'm not used to saying that in RSL, but there's a goalie. <laughs> Both teams, actually, yep. Minnesota, not at the moment, but they were employing had... goalies. Oh, Stu's playing the four check game right now. Tic Tac playing really dangerously in his known crease or uh, zone, but gets it by. Goes by one, goes by two. He only has Panini left. Deeks, Pan no, Panini gets the hit. Great goal to from Panini. Yeah, a couple of fake Deeks from Tic Tac there, not actually moving the puck, and uh, Panini has no trouble giving that a swat goodbye. Oh, what a stone no, just right off the post by Richard Douglas. But uh, that's a lot of um, pro LHL players, pro players, <laughs> say that uh, it's really it's harder to deke new players because they don't react to, like, fakes and stuff. So, um... Absolutely, the aggression works sometimes beautifully. And uh, the school of fish is also really annoying. <laughs> I haven't heard that one yet. School of fish, I like that. Yeah, I think uh, um, someone said that to me. That was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, still two three in this game. And uh, Will taking it down. It's a two one one situation. Will he get the pass off? No, Panini. That's the third time he stopped Tic Tac or Will on a breakaway. McJava whiffing it, but still being able to get the puck. Hits it down for himself. No, no, for uh, Will. Who, uh, bringing it down the line. Gets it past one player. He only has Stu coming in the way, but I think he'll be able to s keep skating. Beautiful shot by Will. Oh, oh what a oh. save by Panini. Just hitting that out. That's where the, the swatting flies comes out, you know. You only hit... You Indeed, only Indeed, he's been... You only swing Massacring flies. <laughs> oh, what a shot. Oh, but this off the post. Just wide. McLeod coming out of the net to take the shot. Just going really wide, actually. And uh, Stu would pick it up. and But he goes by one player. And he leaves it for the second player to get. He shoots it. 
and Tic Tac will get it again. Man, it's really confusing with all these big names. Like it's hard to see the actual name is. But yeah, um, so Tic Tac bringing it up now. He's by himself in his own zone, uh, playing with his own zone, and to get stopped by Richard Douglas. Again, uh, blue team still is in the lead, but uh, the Washington is stopping a lot of blue team's uh, attacks. So um, it could go either way right now. Uh, it's certainly a lot different from the first period. Uh, there have been no goals so far in the second. And Will getting in now. He has a good chance right here. Right. Oh, gets by Douglas. And uh, Tic Tac takes it. But Stu playing great defensive play. And uh, hits the puck hits the puck off Tic Tac. McLeod, I believe, is going to pass to Tic Tac, who's near the boards. All right. No, he's going to take it off. Oh, but gets the pass off to Will. Good choice there, I think. And, um, but Richard Douglas gets it from Will and tries to get the pass off to Stu Walton, which Stu Walton gives it off to Will. And Richard Douglas has a shot on net. Oh, just goes really wide, actually. But again, those are the hard angles. Especially when turning, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pini playing a great presence in net. Jeez, now my dog's breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Shut my door. <laughs> and then, um. Jesus. <laughs> oh, what kind of dog is it, Tickle? It's a uh, golden doodle. It's golden cheer slash poodle. Oh, wow, how fancy. So, he has a. Um, it's pretty big like a golden retriever, but um, he has the barking of a poodle. And uh, that means he barks a lot. That must be so great to live with. <laughs> but he is really fluffy, so I mean, that's <laughs> one part of it. Alright, but now let's go back to the game. Third period, still 2 3, no goals scored in the second. Tic Tac doing a pass to uh, Will, but not hitting Will, but he stops it for Will to take a small backhander shot. Better going wide again. Tic Tac facing off Richard. Richard gets the pass to McClava. McClava hits it off to Tic Tac. Tic Tac has the lane. Takes a shot. Beautiful shot by Tic Tac. Woo Sniping it. Sniping in top right. No left. Left. Top left. Top low. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that will increase the lead by two. And Washington only has four minutes to get back. And this might be a goal. Richard Douglas scoring his second of the game. Time making the lead only by one for uh, MS. The floodgates are opening in the third period. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Will again on it. Well, Panini has it off to Will. And then Tic Tac. Oh, ta will Tic Tac get. Oh, Will might get this. Will goes for it. Can going in. Richard Douglas get it? He gets Ooh. it, saving the puck from a two-goal lead. But now Stu gets it on a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, let's take that. Can get there. Stu brings it up, but hits it too far. I believe. Oh, what a save! Ooh. Save by McJabba. Saving his team from an OT. And um, still Stu has the puck, but um, Tic Tac is on him right now. Stu takes a shot. McJabba whiffs it. The good thing was not net. And McJabba just dumps it out. And uh, Stu will get it, pick it up from his own zone. Hits it across the boards. Uh, stuff for um, strategic uh, reasons. Uh, dumps it <laughs> dumps it to their goalie for um, good banners. And I guess to pass off the Tic Tac. Alright, so Tic Tac bringing it from Ooh. his own zone. Pini just who just got hit, and um, Tic Tac's going through two players. Gets the pass off to Will. That's a D guy really haven't seen where he hit it high off the boards. That's pretty interesting, actually. Not many people use that. Just it use certainly it. helps when you've got a three on three and there's a little bit more space yeah. out there. That would work. Yeah, usually people see usually uh, 
uh, people using the low side of the boards, just hitting it off the boards to get it past them. But no, take that, it's whipping it across the boards, and it's going perfectly to a stick after. It's pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the game. McLeod again from the goalie, hitting it off to Will, if he can get it, or Richard Douglas. R Will gets it, takes a shot just wide off the goal. And uh, Richard Douglas will pick it up from his own zone, hits it off to Stu. Stu does not receive it, and McLeod will pick it up from his own goal. Hits it off to Will. Will gets it stuck at the net. And they both whiff on it. And Tic Tac will take it out. He only has Panini to go through. And he does. He has an open net. Will he take the shot? He does, and he goes just Ooh. wide. But uh, Will does have a chance. Oh, stopped by, um, I believe, Stu. That was hard to tell. They're all really clumped. And Douglas. I think you got it right. That was Stu. Yeah. So Stu. Actually leaving for Douglas. Douglas is on a one on one. -on -one. Douglas deeks him, but McClaba gets the stick off still. So. Oh, Douglas shoots. And, oh. No, Tic Tac does not kill it, hit into his own net. And it's a minute left for uh, Washington to score. Oh, this could be the chance right here. Oh, uh, no. Panini doesn't get it. Oh, maybe he does. Douglas by himself. Shoots, Doug. Oh, but just oh. wide. Ooh, he's, he's going to feel bad about that one. Oh, Stu getting it. No, Tic Tac getting the deke off. Ooh. Oh, but uh, unless McCabe whips on this one, that um, that was their biggest chance, I believe. And this game is looking closer and closer to MS winning. Oh, Panini Ooh. having it, but I don't think he'll get to it that in time. And oh, oh, can he get a shot? Oh, Ooh. All right, 20 seconds left. If they don't get it here soon, this is probably the last break. It's all to Stu Walton getting it up. Oh. Oh! Oh, just wide. Ooh. Unbelievable. Ah, that was a close game. Very good game. That's that. Yeah, that was a great game. Wow. And so close by Washington at the end there a couple of times. Tic Tac, though, my man, getting the hattie and uh, locking this down for Minnesota. And looking at the standings, that puts Minnesota into the two-way tie, or pardon me, three-way tie with New York and Boston. And Washington is going to be... Locked away in the three-way fourth place tie. Chicago has a game left to play, so they might move up. But uh, Washington and Toronto are not going to move up in the standings. They will be in fourth, no matter what. So next up, we got Montreal and the New York Rangers. Montreal, the rank one team. And they have 11 points, and the second place teams are all at 10 points. Montreal grabbed a overtime loss point. And... Ah, New York is the second place team, so important game here. Uh, New York could leapfrog Montreal by one point, or Montreal could pull away here. And now the lineups. We got Ace Wolf, Kev, and Dolphin representing Montreal. And on New York, we got Zod, Montpellier, and Napoleon. Very French uh, New York team. Kind of interesting. And Ace with the look back glide scores, gets first blood, and Dolphin has the assist. Yeah, this um, Zod and Napoleon are both in the top five, I believe. And um, they have a lot of chem together since they've been playing on New York, on LHL, and off uh, on RSL. And those two absolutely destroyed the LR RSL, even All-Stars. Wow, where Zod played a heck of a game, at least a hat-trick. All I remember is the incredible shots from wide angles. And that's where Zig that came from. Zod is God. Are you saying that now? Oh uh, yeah, but I Zod... heard that. I didn't know that started in the All-Stars. That's, that's interesting. When Zod... Trying to score there, came quite close, scraping some of the paint off the crossbar. 
Going to end up going wide though. Dolphin and racing with Montpellier. Dolphin gets the dominant stick on it. It's going to dump deep into New York zone. But, uh, Napoleon gotta, versus Ace. We also got to note that um, Montreal has all three players who have a bit of... Um, Whoopa! <laughs> yeah, that's kind of stopping me for a second. But LHL experience. Cav a little bit less, but uh, still he has some. So Yeah, quite all even three. Teams. All three Montreal players, I believe, have played in the LHL. Maybe not all this season, but uh, they are definitely a team of gray-haired badasses. But uh, Napoleon and Zod are the badasses of the RSL. They're certainly a couple of the biggest ones. And uh, we'll see. This is almost RSL versus LHL, if you will. For the LHL that's ever going to be in the RSL. And right now... Uh, Montreal has got the 2 0 lead. Here by New York's net. No one's getting a stick on it quite yet. Napoleon trying to drag this out of his end. Great crossing pass right on the tape of Montpellier. His odds right in front of him, and there's no goalie. Oh my goodness, Montpellier. I don't know if he was shooting or trying a really hard pass there, but uh, that was a huge mistake. And now a cluster of players skating up blue net, and Montreal shoots wide. Ace passed it in to Dolphin, who scores. No goalie, and just massive confusion all over the ice there. That's an easy third goal for Montreal. Face off one by Zod. Oh, is it on net? No, it is just wide. Zod's intense lofted shot there almost went in. But Montreal recovers on D. Great rotation boards pass to Ace Wolf. No, Ace Wolf is stopped by Zod on the boards. Ooh, Kev tried to skate through everyone. Could not. Didn't get a stick on it. Now Zod. Oh, with the squeaker shot, he hits the post, and that goes wide. Zod tries to recover on the boards, but a lot of Montreal jerseys there to pick it up. And now, this is Kev. Kev trying to go over to Dolphin. Oh, Dolphin, what a skate. He's got eyes in the back of his head. He gets a hat-trick and assist for Kev. Face off one by Zod. Kev was there to cover. Oh, Zod this time. The squeaker's going in. Goal number one for Zod. And Montreal's wishing they had a goalie right now. In the past, um, Zod usually just gets one goal, and then he starts firing up. So this is the one goal that he needed. To start scoring some. Indeed, he hasn't really had that many chances that haven't come off the face-off, so we'll see if he starts skating into some dangerous areas and uh, lets that wicked wrist shot of his go. Speaking of wicked wrist shots, Dolphin, goal number four, and the assist trick for Ace Both. Thought yeah, another uh, face-off win. That was a giant. Oh, uh, was it? If you if you saw before, Kev, uh, not Kev, but yeah, Kev won up to the goalie and Napoleon. Uh, had to, uh, sorry, Napoleon had to jump over him, and then by the time he jump came down to the ground, the shot was already in the net. Uh, well, it will certainly be reviewed, and that would be unfortunate. A uh, completely boneheaded play by Kev, if that's true, as Dolphin had a wicked shot. Ooh, and Dolphin got the last stick on that, <laughs> and Ace Wolf is feeling a bit robbed as he made all the moves and did all the work, and is now AFK on the faceoff. That's really stupid as well. Zod almost punishing him for it. Hit off the post and came inside. Zod now skating into this. Yes, he does. Pulls it out from the middle of three Montreal players there. Just a really bad looking cluster. Zod beats them all. He's on the Zod angle. No, he's going to try to deke inside with the board steak. Can't get it to go. Dolphin's going to skate through this. Ooh, Dolphin's going to give it up to Zod, actually. He's looking. No, they run out of time. It is 6-2, possibly 5-2. On review of that, maybe goalie interference goal by Dolphin. And by Kev. But still a sizable lead either way, at least three goals up, heading into the second. And Zod wins another faceoff. He has been dominating the faceoff circle. Dolphin, I was going to grab this puck. 
looking for Kev around the boards. He finds him. Everyone on New York was in deep on the forecheck. Kev's got a breakaway here. Goes to his forehand. Oh, and standing tall in net. I believe that was Napoleon who decided not to come out come out on the shot, but made a great save. Montpellier going to try to hit the puck, and he didn't hit it quite the way he was expecting. It actually ends up going to Zod. Zod in the corner, trying to turn around with it. Not fast enough. All of Montreal is checking Zod. And Montpellier, interesting little hit into the side of the net there. That's going to come too far too fast, though, out into New York's defensive zone. Zod loses it just over the blue line. Ace trying to move around. Great goalie work by Napoleon there. And again by Napoleon, saving another Zod whiff. Napoleon's going to try to keep them in this. Oh, almost a breakaway. Zod, very alert, came out for that. If he didn't, that was looking dangerous. And oh my, almost an own goal by Kev there. Montpellier, nice position in the corner. Can't get any kind of action on it. They're going to scramble for it now. Montreal dumps. Boyan's out in the back. Zod and Montpellier. Making moves on the boards. Boyan goes straight up the middle. It's not going to find anybody. Kev's going to be the first to do this in Montreal's defensive zone. Ooh, Kev panics. Hits it off the boards, serves Zod a goal. What was Kev thinking there? That was absolutely awful. Zod gets a hat trick and assists for Napoleon. Face off again, won by Zod. All of Montreal, though, coming over to the left side of the ice there. Dolphin behind his own net. Looking for a short pass forwards. Hangs on to it, beat Montpellier. Is he going to beat Zod? He is. And Dolphin tried to scoop a pass across the front of the net. Ace Wolf wasn't ready. Oh, goal! Montpellier with the dump. He'll tell you he was shooting. I'll tell you, it's his first goal, first assist for Zod. Ace Wolf, again, not alert on the faceoff. Allowed a shot by Zod there, but Ace... Oh, pardon me, that was not Ace. They had a little confusion as Ace went into goalie and the C for Montreal was not ready. But good thing Ace was in goal because that saved a sure shot from Zod. Gonna trickle to Ace now. Zod very close behind it. Not gonna get a stick on it. Dolphin playing deep. Great positioning. He's gonna turn on this wide and hopefully get it to Kev. No, he can't stick handle it quite right and had to dump it. And collision here, Dolphin almost pulled it away from Zod. Zod maintains possession. Dolphin, great back check, but no one was there on Montreal to jump on the loose puck. So Napoleon jumps on it and stuffs her top corner. First goal, Napoleon, second assist, Zod. Good skating by New York there. Zod, countless faceoff wins. Possibly into the double digits already. Dolphin behind his own net. Tries to go back. No one is skating for him to receive that pass. So Dolphin's going to pick it up himself. He's going to cut inside here on his forehand. Napoleon and net. Dolphin, a bit heavy with the touch there, decides to wheel around. Kev's waiting. Kev kind of floating in the slot there in that fast pass through the front of the mouth of the net there. Found nobody. Dodd behind his own net. Montpellier making a move. Dodd, long bomb. Oh, and it beats Ace Wolf. Oh, my goodness. Enough power on the shot to jump over the stick of Ace Wolf, who was unable to even attempt a recovery save. And that ties it 6 6. Wicked comeback by New York here in the second. That is, I believe, four unanswered goals from them. Woof! Trying to make it five. That was very close. Dodd now. Boards deep. Montpellier is wide. Doesn't go to him instead. Gets checked. Kev. Boards past the Dolphin. Dolphin can't handle it. It's going to come all the way back to Napoleon. 
Napoleon one time shot just wide. Kev now behind his own net. Ace coming into the middle for him. Can he get it? No, just ahead of him. Bad skating by Ace. Zod's going to pick that up. Zod long bombing with seconds left. <laughs> Kev whiffed on it, but it was going wide. That would have been something. So, wow, what a game. 6-6 six, six going into the third. What do you think, Tickle? I'm saying New York. I think New York. They are certainly playing with the heart to finish the comeback. And Zod, another face-off win. They cannot stop him on the face-off, and they can't stop that shot. Kev not even moving. Uh, he ran out of batteries or something. And Zod collects his fifth goal. All Zod needed was one goal, and <laughs> he blows up. Yes, indeed, and uh, his face-offs have been incredible. Dolphin trying a long bomb of his own, and that's well wide. Napoleon oof, had Zod open, went for the risky deke instead. Zod is still there, and sloppy pass by Napoleon's going to fly over to Kev's stick. Kev has options on the boards. Too slow, but recovers, eats that check. Ace Bolf is going to skate onto this as Dolphin couldn't get a hand on it. Ace Bolf has a chance to go inside and score a little too slow on the skating, and boom, big check by Napoleon. And Montpellier with a stupid dump attempt right there. Whiffed on it, actually gave Zod a chance. Oh, and here comes Zod right now. Oh, Zod from the insane angle. Double hat trick assist for Montpellier. And New York has come back. Six goals unanswered. And three minutes and seconds to go in the third. Puck's going to squeak loose to Napoleon. And good for check by Dolphin. No one's skating for Montreal, though, to pick up that loose puck in the middle. And it's going to be dumped. Ace Bolf at his own blue line. Elf ends up the boards for him, but Napoleon was watching. Oh boy. Montpellier with a good forecheck almost picked his pocket. Oh, loose puck comes right to Zod. Woo, good last minute stick in the play by Ace to keep that shot off target. Ace again grinding down Zod in the corner. Dolphin. Oh, went for the board steak. Beat the first man, could not beat Zod on the back check. Ace is going to pick this up. Ace may be trying a shot there well wide. Dolphin trying to block Napoleon here. Napoleon gets it through, but not through Ace. Ace dumps that back in onto the other side of the ice. Dolphin gets it. Will he lose it? He does. Napoleon on it now. Dolphin, though, staying in there, won it back. Ace has a chance to turn inside. No, he waits too long, had his head down, and Zod plowed him and stopped him. But Dolphin! Oh, over the loose puck. His turn for the double hat trick and a fourth assist for Ace. Montreal pull within one in the third period. Zod winning all over the faceoffs, and wow, what a save by Kev. That was going to be bar -deezy. That's a huge save to make at this stage of the game. Now Puck coming around in the corner. Zod's going to be first two. Strong check by Ace Bull forces the error from Zod. But New York, with the superior positional skating, are going to pick this up. Montpellier. Ooh, a bit of a goofy boards something there. Could call it a shot because it almost went in. But it looked pretty panicked to me. And now Montreal's going to try to bring this out. They have the numbers in position to do it. Dolphin has Napoleon to beat. Looks like he's winding up for a shot here, and he scores! Montreal tied up. Dolphin, seventh goal. What a game for Dolphin. Assist for Ace Bowl, number five. And with a minute and a half to go in the third here, it's anyone's game. Ooh, dangerous cluster there, just over the blue line of Montreal. The defensive play is made, and Dolphin jumping all over Napoleon. Makes that puck squirt over to Ace. Ace with the pointless dump to Zod. Oh, and big interference by Napoleon. Almost set Zod free there. A good recovery by Montreal here. Ace trying to beat all the skaters. Cannot. 
Going to come to Kev. Dolphin making the great move up the boards. Oh, the pass was just too fast by Kev. Dolphin could not get a stick there. Dolphin and Ace both dating so deep in this pass. Oh, would have been a dangerous one, but great play by Kev to shut that down. Montreal hitting a little greedy there on that last play, and it almost cost them. Dodd now. Tried to pass. Ace Wolf got a good stick on it. Montpellier was trying to beat Dolphin there. Dolphin says, hell no. Zod, though, he's got in front of Ace here. Oh, no, the sloppy inside move is easily swatted by Ace, who has seen that a thousand times. Montpellier is going to be the first to this in his defensive zone. And another dump from Montpellier, who's unable to handle the pressure. Dolphin's going to pick this up. 15 seconds. Nice boards pass to Ace. Ace cannot quite handle it. And great play by Zod, who's turning this play around. He's going to try the bomb. Oh, he shoots just wide. Kev looks like he may have had it covered. User joined Signal, you can't read the it fucking rules. It says there has to be contact for it to be G in. Let the overtime play. User left your channel. Uh, oh, I forgot about that. Well, we will see about that on the review. If the Montreal goal is pulled back, which... I believe it should, as a player was streaking towards the goalie, and the goalie double-jumped over to avoid the obvious GN. Ace Wolf just jumping on the stream there to say that there was no actual contact. I think that's a bit of a loophole, as you can't run the goalie like that. So New York could put it within, or rather without doubt, by scoring here in OT. We could have a bit of a dramatic finish here if Montreal end up scoring the OT goal. And Zod trying to do just that. Beats Kev, who raced out of his net. Zod can't quite grab a good hold of it on the on the side there. Ace now. Trying to go through everybody again. Gets the puck into a good area, but they're going to have to restart their offense. Dolphin on it now. Tries the board steak, it popped out in front of him, but Montpellier not able to handle the backskate. Oh my goodness! Ace hit the bar, and it went up and over. My goodness, that was close. Kev now behind his own net. Got Dolphin assisting on defense. Kev tried to go to Dolphin, and Dolphin was not expecting that. And Montpellier wins it from Kev here. Montpellier unable to skate onto it quite right. Napoleon now. And beat Dolphin. Dolphin with the good uh, sticky stick. Dolphin going to try the angle shot here. That was close. I believe Zod kept that from going out. Although it may have been post and out anyways. Kev now in his own zone. Montreal definitely skating a lot more defensively now. And it may come back to hurt them. Ace Wolf though. Oh, had a good outlet pass there, but he got stuffed. Oh, collision on New York. Ace Wolf has plenty of time to pick this up now. He's going to try to wheel and deal and Dolph to Dolphin, who is deep in New York's zone. He just needs to make a simple boards pass here. And it was too obvious. Montpellier, who's been good on the forecheck, shuts that down as well. Gives Napoleon a chance to grab it here. I believe if that was Napoleon dumping it back to his goalie. Good choice there as Dolphin was all over him. Oh, Zod's possible long shot there. Got shut down by Dolphin. Oh, great sliding in skating by Napoleon. Unable to really uh, keep it together there. Got checked. And both teams just going absolutely insane here at mid-ice. Dolphin's got a chance here at the side. He's going to shoot behind the net. Ace Bowl first to this. He's got Montpellier right on him, Dolphin. Great position on the boards. Oh, Montpellier had it red, but his stick must have barely missed it. He found Dolphin, who wheels around, and Dolphin is certainly going to bury this. And he does! Dolphin scores his eighth goal and Ace's sixth assist. Uh, we're going to check the review to see if that even matters. New York may have won the game. And... They haven't, though. It's going to be in favor of Montreal. Uh, Tickle, would you mind stopping the cast and restarting so I go look at the review? Uh, yeah.